it's not okay to use gender as a reason for abuse and exploitation, to say that girls suffer the worst because of promiscuity and flirtation, that girls suffer the most because they attract the wrong kinds with their grown-up makeup and sexy hair and their irresistible, sultry 12-year-old stare. It's not okay to tell girls that <laughs> this is the world and this is the hand they were dealt, so if they don't want to get raped, then they better stay home, turn off the tech and invest in a chastity belt. It's not okay to discuss a girl like an inevitable victim because you have run out of ways to try to convict him. It's not okay to use gender as a reason for the lack of male statistics in exploitation and abuse, to say that boys just won't disclose, we don't know why, they just refuse. It's not okay to collude in silence with a society that teaches boys that they can't even be victims of abuse or violence. A society that teaches you that it's Probably not as prevalent, probably not as common, so subconsciously boys slip down your agenda to the bottom and maybe they were gay and they were experimenting anyway and it's just boys being boys and that's how some boys behave. And that's not okay. It's not okay to conclude that there's just nothing you can do because they come from an area that's just meaner and scarier than the one that you live in so they must have vulnerabilities built in them. They must have a predisposition to risk right within them. It's not okay to say, no matter what I do, the kids from that estate will never be anything to celebrate. Like they've been condemned to a life of abuse and neglect because they come from the area where that's all you'll ever expect from them. It's not okay to claim that children with disabilities, the only evidence-based vulnerability, are less likely to be abused because you have refused to see them as sexual beings with thoughts and feelings. It's not okay to tell me that you're supporting a child with a disability, but then you can't answer any of my questions inquiring about their qualities and abilities. It's not okay that children who need extra support are being called non-credible and then their cases are being dropped before ever getting near a court. It's not okay to sit around a table telling each other that you are not able to work with our diverse communities because you're unable to create opportunities for discussion and debate and the chance to form unities against people from every background that use and abuse the children that we are living around. And whilst I'm here, I will make one thing clear. It is not okay to employ a system that consistently miss them, but then blames mum or dad as a cop-out for why their child is a high school dropout, and for their abuse and trauma and mither, because if I am not mistaken, our child protection system didn't protect them either. It's not okay to shift the responsibility of sex offending to parents who are desperately defending themselves to you that they didn't know that their child was being abused whilst we file reports that recommend care orders are used. It's not okay to conveniently ignore that the single biggest cause of sex offending against children is sex offenders. It's not okay to develop films and clips that insist that children desist and resist normal adolescent social growth, otherwise they risk getting abused or killed or both. It is not okay to write lessons that teach children to judge other children for making mistakes and bad decisions that led them being exploited and raped. It is not okay to ask the class what the child could have done differently to avoid being abused. No, they couldn't have just identified the signs of grooming and refused. No, they shouldn't have known that taking a pig on their phone would lead to their best friend bullying them until their wits end so they believe all of their threats that they will be forever in their debt if they don't sleep with this person that they only just met. It is not okay to assume that if you teach kids how groomers groom then they will protect themselves from abuse and your precious statistics will then reduce. It is not okay to blame children for exploitation because you don't understand risk indicators show correlation, not causation. So before you tell children that they're risk takers, troublemakers, problem fakers, rule breakers, remember that it's the fault of the perpetrators and children are looking to you to be the decision maker and the policy maker that says it's not okay and that you will find a way to stop the nightmare that they live for real every single day. It's not okay.